Baking chicken stock in your instant pot or other pressure cooker is another great way to get your bone broth into your diet with very little effort. We're going to start by cooking a whole chicken first. It's generally cheaper to buy the whole chicken at the grocery store as they can run 79 to 99 cents a pound depending on where you live. Whereas pieces of chicken, such as the breasts or legs, can run a lot higher. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by cooking the whole chicken. Once you do that, we're going to place it on the rack. Your pressure cooker doesn't have a rack, that's okay. It can go directly in there. It'll be fine. And then we're going to add two cups of filtered water. The water is also going to serve as a basis for our stock when we are done. After we cook it in the Instant Pot or your other pressure cooker for about 30 minutes, then we're going to let the meat cool and we're going to pull that off the bones. The meat will be great in enchiladas and stir fries and soups, casseroles, however you'd like to use it. And then we're going to put the bones back into the Instant Pot and then we're going to start our stock with that. Now we can strain our chicken broth. And we're going to strain it into a large strainer, which is just a regular stainless steel bowl. Remembering this is still very hot. Now at this time, we can take the rest of the vegetables out of the Instant Pot and put fresh vegetables and do another batch of chicken broth using the same bones. Those bones can be used for up to three batches as well and after that they kind of start disintegrating. You'll know when they get really really soft and you can just smash them with your fingers all the minerals are gone.